What's up guys, Scott Lowe here at Mad Cat's headquarters in San Diego to talk about the first co-branded Triton Xbox 360 headsets. They're releasing three separate headsets, all will be below $300. They haven't released specific information in terms of pricing for each, but uh, there are a variety of different features, but we'll start off with the top of the line, which is the Warhead 7.1 headset. It uses wireless 5.8 gigahertz technology, so you get the purest uh, possible sound direct from Dolby Digital through an optical input on the back. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it's actually very limited in terms of the amount of wires you have to connect. It's powered by USB directly into the console. You have one optical input and that's it. Like you have no other cables to worry about. This is all working directly with the console, which is where the co-branding comes in play. So uh, on the top, of course, you have the Xbox 360 brand on the top, um, but there is like a host of, another, uh, of features for you to look at. So on the Warhead 7.1, you have Dolby headphones. So you can get uh, wireless 7.1, surround sound. Uh, you can also get Dolby Pro Logic 2 and then just you know straight digital input. Also important to note is that all three of the headsets have selective voice monitoring so like if you have if you find yourself with other heads just headsets just screaming into it and not being able to hear yourself now you can but it's uh, a switch you can turn off and on so you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. You can also run your uh, iPhone or iPod into it so you can listen to music at the same time. It also has a rechargeable battery pack, so you don't have to worry about swapping out AAA batteries or AA batteries. Uh, if you look at the base, you can actually see this little, uh, underneath the Triton logo is actually a battery pack that is charging simultaneously to the one that you're actually using in the headset. So if it runs out, you just pop it out and throw it back in and you're good to go. And then of course you can have four separate headsets on one base station. So if you have more than one of these headsets, you can actually have up to four people you know, playing on the same thing without annoying your neighbors or your roommates. Then moving down the line, you also have the Warhead 2.0, which is uh, you know, a little more cost effective, uh, kind of reducing some of the features here. But uh, it's got a similar base station design. You don't have Dolby support, so it's just stereo. Uh, you have an RCA input on the back, and again, it's USB powered, so very limited wire clutter. Again, you have the built-in mic that is detachable with the LED illumination in terms of whether or not you're being, uh, it's muted or not. Finally, we've got the detonator headset, which is the entry-level headset. It's wired, it's not wireless like the other two, uh, but it you know, works, it's powered by USB from the console. You have you know, stereo RCA coming in, uh, but again, you get the detachable microphone and it works with the Xbox 360. You do have to run a cable from the you know, headset to your uh, 360 controller, but this again will be like sub $100 and it'll be you know, geared towards the entry-level consumer. So there you have it, the world's first Xbox 360 co-branded headsets from Triton. We'll have all the information later this year, but stay tuned to our E3 2011 coverage for more.